hope you're feeling good this morning because I'm feeling pretty good myself. Actually, I think we might need to do some stretches. Let's stretch a little bit, ready? Let's stretch up. Oh my goodness, that feels really good. Now let's stretch down. Can we stretch down? Can we stretch down? Here we go. Woo! Do you feel the burn? If you don't, then you're not doing it right. Nah, you're good. All right, all right, let's do a little jump in here. Okay, we should be awake by now. Are you awake? Oh good, because I'm about out of breath. All right, this morning guys, guess who I have with me? You guessed it. If you saw last week's program, I have Michael Payton. Say good morning, Michael Payton. Good morning. And I have Miss Michaela. Good morning. Yes, we are having an awesome time this morning. So excited to be here and to be with you guys. Even though, again, you're not with us in the studio, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna go over our rules, right? We gotta have rules. Very, very important. No matter where you're at, rules are so important. So, I tell you what, we're gonna have a quiz. Who can tell me what rule number one is? Let's see. Anybody out there? I bet, I bet your mom knows. I bet. What about your little brother? Hmm? I bet grandma knows rule number one. I tell you what, let's ask Michaela if she knows what rule number one is, okay? All right, Michaela, we're putting you on the spot. What is rule number one? Quiet in the studio. Quiet in the studio. What? Wait a minute. Michaela, they're not in the studio. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I meant quiet at home. Quiet at home. That's right. Or, you know, you may not be at home. You may be camping in a tent. So then what it be? Quiet in the yeah. tent. Or maybe, maybe you're in a boat. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. So then it would be quiet in the boat. the boat, right? Okay, good job. Okay, so rule number two, rule number two. Remember these are our new rules since we're having to do things different. Rule number two, who knows rule number two? I'm gonna give you a second. What? What are you saying? Hmm, I don't know, is that rule number two? I'll tell you what, let's ask Michael Payton. Michael Payton, what's rule number two? Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself? Is that rule number two? Yes. Is it? Or is it don't be a space invader? Don't be a space invader. Okay, now does that mean don't turn green and grow antennas? No. no, no, don't be, well, what does that mean? It means don't touch anybody else. Don't touch anybody else, right? Especially now. We don't want everybody's germs, right? And we're not supposed to touch what? Your face. Your face, right? Let's not touch our face, guys, okay? Make sure, don't do that, because we don't want germs going in our mouth and in our noses, okay? All right, rule number three. This is the most awesome rule ever. So again, I don't know if your parents are asleep. I don't know if your parents are making breakfast. Maybe your parents are in the room with you right now. Maybe you're in the car with your parents. I don't know. So for rule number three, y'all ready? I'm excited. Rule number three, let's make some noise and have fun, y'all ready? And get crunk for oh, Jesus. Jesus. Let me hear you out there, come on, come on. I can't hear you. Oh, come on, come on, get loud, get loud, get loud. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Quiet, 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 quiet in the house. Quiet in the boat, quiet in the tent, quiet wherever you're at, okay? Okay, did you wake them up? Are they good and awake? Are they good and mad? I hope not. If they are, hey guys, it's my fault. Again, blame it on me. I'm here and you're there. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see. Oh, what is next, guys? Word up. Are you ready for word up? I'm so excited. I love God's word. I tell you what, come on guys, y'all join me. We are gonna do word up this morning. 
Okay, y'all ready? All right, here we go. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. 1 Corinthians 12, 27. All right, great job, guys. Give yourself a hand this morning. All right. Hmm, you know what time it is? Michaela, Michael, what time is it? It's, it's, is it game time? Yeah. It's game time, guys. Are you excited? Yes, we're still playing games around here. We love games. All right, so for this game, we're going to be using a cup. Now, some of y'all already know what this game is. So listen, if you have like um, a plastic cup or styrofoam cup, um, go, go get one really quickly, okay? Maybe you don't have a cup. Maybe you have like a stuffed toy or a doll or maybe a plastic truck, anything that's plastic or soft, go get it. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, maybe you're still looking. It's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell how to play this game, okay? So of course, Michael and, Mi and Michaela's gonna play. All right, so you guys come on out here. All right, so we have a cup or whatever object you have, okay? So I'm gonna put this cup down on the floor, right there, and I'm gonna back away. All right, so the object of this game is this. I'm gonna name different parts of the body, okay? But believe me, I'm not gonna name any parts of the face because we're not supposed to touch the face, right? All right, so I'm gonna name different parts of the body and when I do, you're going to put your hands there. Like if I said head, what do we do? If I said knees, if I said toes, if I said shoulders. All right, y'all got it? You got it? Okay, we're about to play this game, okay? You might want to move your stools out of the way. Okay, so we're about to play this game. Make sure you're at least two foot away from each other. So y'all come up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be naming all these parts of the body. Now, you got to listen really good, okay? So you got to be really quiet and listen to the body parts I say. All right. Whenever I say cup or whatever you have, okay, whether it's a truck, a teddy bear, a doll, whatever it may be, when I say cup, that's what you're going to grab. You're going to grab whatever you have to play with this morning, okay? Are y'all ready? And it's the first one to grab the object. All right, now remember guys, if it's in the other person's hands, don't jerk it out. Whoever has it, they are the ones that win the game, okay? All right, and more than two people can play this game, okay? But we're only gonna play it one time. But you can continue playing it when we're done, okay? All right, are y'all ready? I'm gonna move to the side. All right, get ready, guys. All right, here we go. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes, elbows, and ears, and neck, ankles, hair, your waist, your knees, fingers, toes, ears, elbows, ankles, <laughs> head, shoulders, your neck your waist, your toes, your ears, your ankles, your head, your shoulders, cup! Woo! All right, great job, great job, Michaela, grab the cup before Michael. Great job, come on, give it up, give it up. Who out there grab the object? Who? Okay, great job. All right, guys. We are done with game time, so we're gonna get ready for our lesson, okay? But what do we need? We need our Bibles, okay? So we're gonna give you a few seconds to get your Bibles, all right? And we're gonna do a quick song with you guys. 
Okay, guys, are you ready? I hope you're finding your Bibles. Here we go. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. The Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken in the Pizza Hut. The Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut. Kentucky Fried Chicken in the Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken in the Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken in the Pizza Hut. Woo! Come on, make some noise! Who's got their Bibles? Great job! Okay, guys, I hope you have your Bible. And remember, you can look in your table of contents, okay? So today, um, I'd like you to look up 1 Corinthians. Now, this is a long word. Here we go. C-O-R-I-N-T-H-I-A-N-S. All right? Just look for C word, C-O-R, and you should be able to find it. So that's 1 Corinthians 12, 27. And this is what it says. Now you, you and me, okay? Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it, okay? So today our lesson is called, That's What It's All About, okay? So I'm sure that all of you probably know the song called The Hokey Pokey. And yes, The Hokey Pokey has a dance, okay? So I need Michael Michaela again to help me out. Okay guys, are you ready? We're about to do The Hokey Pokey. I want you guys to do it with me and I'm sure your parents or grandma or auntie, I'm sure, I'm sure they know The Hokey Pokey. Come on, let's all get up. Come on, we already stretched this morning. We're gonna get our dance on. Are you ready? You ready? All right, all right. Let's take your right hand, okay? All right, here we go, ready? You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. Come on, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, great job, guys. Come on, give each other a big hand. All right, awesome. All right, guys, that was pretty fun. Got your blood flowing this morning, okay? So your mind can start thinking and listening. All right, so after your right hand, actually, we only did one part of it, you would use your left hand, okay? And then your right foot, and then your left foot, and then your head, and then your whole body, okay? That's how the, the song goes. That's a really fun song, too. Now, can you imagine, let's imagine, okay? Can you imagine what would happen if you were doing the hokey pokey and the left hand refused to do the hokey pokey because it wanted to be the right foot? Oh my goodness, what in the world? What if the right foot said, since I'm not the left hand, I'm not part of the body, so I refuse to do the hokey pokey. Oh my goodness, what in the world? The next thing you know, the head might say, I don't need any of you. I can hokey pokey all by myself. Mm, I think we got some problems here. Nope, that will never work. This can never be. The, the hands, the feet, the head, they are all a part of the whole body. Okay, your whole self. You need them all to do the hokey pokey. After all, like the song says, that's what it's all about. Maybe this example of the hokey pokey seems a little bit silly, but it is a good picture of the church. Now remember now, the church is not this building. Okay, remember we are the church. We are God's church, God's people, all right? The Bible teaches us that the church is the body of Christ and that it is made up of many, many members, many people. Each member is different, all right? And each has been given different gifts. Isn't that awesome that God gives us gifts? I love gifts! Who loves gifts? Raise your hand. Oh, raise your hands and your feet. 
I love gifts, okay? Ooh, I love gifts. I like Christmas gifts. I like birthday gifts. I just like love you gifts. How about that? But you know, God gives us gifts and that's amazing. I'm so glad we have a God that loves us so much that he gives us gifts. Some people have been given the gift of preaching. Okay, like our pastor, he's been given an awesome gift of, of preaching. All right, and some people have been given the gift of teaching. Like me and Miss Melissa, Miss Melissa Harris. She's not here right now, but she's out there. Hey, Miss Melissa, y'all tell her, hello, Miss Melissa. All right, yes, she's been given the gift of teaching, while others have been given the gift of healing. Some people are good leaders, and have been given the gift of seeing that everything runs smoothly. We want things to run smoothly in the church, right? While others may have been given the gift of helping others. I don't know about you, but I think everybody can help others. But when that's a gift that God gave you, wow, that is just, just import, a very important, important gift that we are helping others. Just as God gave us hands, okay, let me see your hands. And feet, gave you feet, and gave you a head, and of course I'm not going to touch them, gave you eyes and ears, okay? He gave us all of these body parts to meet the needs of the whole body because we need our hands to pick things up, we need our feet to walk, we need our eyes to see, we need ears to hear. God has given the church different members with different gifts to meet the needs of the whole church. And I'm so thankful for each and every person. And you guys have gifts of your own. God has given every one of us gifts. And it's important that we all work together. That, like I was talking about the hokey po pokey a while ago, that, you know, what if your right foot wanted to be the left hand or the head wanted to do this or didn't want to do this, we would have a problem, okay? So we want to make sure that we're all using our gifts and working together. And just like the Hokey Pokey says, that is what it's all about. We need to make sure that we are using God's gifts, first of all, okay? Don't hoard the gifts up. Make sure you're using them for God, for His glory, especially in this time right now. We can be helping others. You know, those that, like I said last week, those that maybe can't get out to go get groceries or um, those that need you to, maybe your mom needs you to watch little brother while she's um, doing some other things in the house. Those are doing, like last week, we said good deeds, okay? And those are gifts. Those are gifts that God has given us. And maybe some of you guys, hey, some of you guys may be teaching. You're teaching your little brothers and sisters teaching them different things that God has given you and, and showing them how to love each other and showing them how to share. It's so important to share. And especially, you know, for adults this morning, guys, that we're sharing. Maybe somebody wasn't able to get some toilet paper. Hey, you maybe you have plenty. Maybe, maybe your mom, maybe you're a person out there that does the coupon and, and you have piles of toilet paper, all right? You're able to share and help others that because right now you really, it's hard to find. It's really crazy that you can't find it, but it is really hard to find, but we're learning those things and we, God has given, them, given us those gifts, okay? All right, and like I said, that is what it's all about, us working together. And I hope, guys, that you are working together as a family um, while you're at your house and not at school, but I hope you're working together too, helping your, um, helping those around you that maybe their schoolwork they've got right now, they're not used to not having a teacher in front of them and you can help them with that too. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna pray. Are y'all ready to pray? All right, everybody bow your heads. Come on, guys, look to the floor. Come on. All right. Dear Lord, again, we thank you for this time, Lord God, that we can come and be in your presence. Lord, we may not be in the same room, the same building, Lord, but you are with us. And we thank you for that. We are thankful that you have given each of us special gifts. Help us to remember that each of us is an important part of the body of Christ. And Lord, we just thank you for our families, Lord. We thank you, God, that you're taking care of us. Lord God, that um, you're watching over us and we can trust you in all things and we don't have to fear. Lord, build our faith and we just honor you today in Jesus' name. And we all say, 
Amen. All right, guys. Again, we hope that you've enjoyed today. We've enjoyed it. And again, um, <clears throat> I hear my stomach about to rumble here, grumble, because I think it's hungry. Who's hungry? Maybe you're not hungry. Maybe you already had breakfast or a cookie or something. Ugh, I haven't had anything. Have you had anything? You have? Have you had anything? Not really. Not really. It's kind of gone by now, right? All right, so guess what? We're going to go get some food again. See you later. Bye. Bye.